I'm walking up section here through the top of the Oriskany formation. This sort of tan weathering sandstone that you see here behind me is a relatively pure quartz sand deposit that's uh, calcite cemented. And um, it's a relatively high energy, shallow environment, got some nice big brachiopods in it. But then you can see that the rocks change abruptly right here above my head where suddenly we've got this super crumbly black shale. And uh, this is actually a major stratigraphic boundary within the uh, Appalachian uh, stratigraphic section. So various points over the Phanerozoic sea level has gone up and gone down and gone up and gone down. And these episodes of transgression and regression have left behind a sedimentary record. They've left behind a series of sedimentary rocks that record sea level going up and going down. These major Phanerozoic sequences um, have boundaries that are unconformities. This is one of them. This, this is the wall bridge unconformity right here. And it is the boundary between the Oriskany sandstone and this overlying Needmore shale. All right, so this black shale is a much deeper water uh, de deposit. It's, uh, it's black indicating a high proportion of organic carbon, therefore deep. Um, it's also finer grained and therefore indicating calmer energy. So this wall bridge unconformity is a major sequence boundary in the Appalachian stratigraphic section. And it represents the end of one Epiric Sea or Epicontinental Sea, the Tippecanoe Sea, and the start of a new one, the Kaskaskia Sea. So this uh, boundary, which is uh, right here behind me, is uh, a major, major stratigraphic horizon. The deepening of the basin here is thought to relate to the onset of Acadian mountain building. So this is the second of the major Appalachian mountain building events and it was caused by the collision of ancestral North America with a microcontinent, Avalonia. And so that caused a bunch of metamorphism and mountains being shoved up into the air over to the east. Where we are here in eastern West Virginia, we were receiving sediment shed off of that mountain belt. And the basin basically dropped down, so it was a, a deeper water basin uh, at the time of the deposition of the Needmore Formation. So this is the wall bridge unconformity, and it's a major boundary between Phanerozoic sequences.